Hey everybody, today we're going to be working on a hexagonal uh, pencil cup or a pen holder. And uh, I'm going to address one of the issues that we will have here, as you can see, is that when you have a pattern and you try to just cut it through the cylinder, you're going to have some odd edges. And the problem persists even more when you have multiple edges that you can actually observe from different angles. So how we correct that is by matching the face on the item. So what you want to do is you select all the shapes that you have. And this is a repetitive uh, piece, so just keep that in mind. And we're going to make a new body. And then we're going to select the faces of the hexagon. And we're going to replace the face. Make sure you select that last one. And we're going to select the face of the cylinder. And we replace it to match the face. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other side. And uh, you can see why, if you <laughs> pay attention, it's basically to match the face because the edges are rounded. So we match the face. Now what we can do is we hide the body, the main body, and we extend those out because we're going to use this as a kind of like a mill. We're going to subtract this from the main body. And you can see that crooked shape there. So we select them all and we're going to move them over so we can basically slice these out from the main body. We uh, then go ahead and hide this. Let's hide the sketch. Um, we go ahead and select all of those. And since we're going to be doing all around, we have to multiply them, right? So the easiest way is to move over a couple of them. And then once you have a certain degree, for example, we have 60 degrees right here. We're going to go ahead and select all of these pieces. And you can use two methods. This one's the slower one. You can select all of them by choosing the menu, or you can double click all of the pieces uh, while on there. But I'll show you a faster one in a little bit. But anyways, we go ahead and center that point, And we move them over 60 degrees, then 120. And we follow that path there all the way around so that we have our subtract tools. And then uh, once we have those done, you basically the fastest way would be just to select everything. This is that method I was talking about. You select everything and then you simply deselect the one that you don't want since we have that one body that we're working with. And then don't forget that little odd piece right there, the oddball. <laughs> uh, then you select the body you want to subtract from and basically click done. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple process once you know what you're doing. And the main thing was just to replace that face to match the curve of the cylinder. Uh, now let's just go ahead and finish up by detailing all the edges, making them the same color. And we have our final piece. It looks really good. Uh, I wouldn't mind having this on my desk. So I'm gonna go ahead and include this file as a 3D print on printables uh, for the step and the STL, just in case if you wanna play around with it. Hope you guys were able to follow along with no issues. If you have any questions, though, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.